contenido en tres. Iguazú Falls are not the widest, highest, or the one with the largest water flow, but combining all these three elements together, the Iguazú Falls are the largest waterfall system in the world. Among its many titles, they have been declared one of the seven natural wonders of the world in 2007. Some facts about Iguazu. It's located in the border between Argentina and Brazil. The first one has 80% of the waterfalls and the other country only the 20%. Many people say, however, the Brazilian side is more beautiful for its panoramic views. We'll visit both sides so we'll have the chance to decide ourselves. It's composed by 275 waterfalls. The largest one being the Devil's Gorge. It's almost 80 meters high. Its length is 2,700 meters. That's wider than Niagara and Victoria Falls put together. To have an idea of how impressive these waterfalls are, I'll quote Eleanor Roosevelt. When she came in 1944 with her husband in a state visit, she said, Poor Niagara, it looks like the kitchen sink compared to this. Of course, the waterfalls are quite breathtaking, but the environment around them is also very important. They are completely surrounded by a dense jungle with very little human impact. This area has been declared a national park both in Argentina and Brazil. These trees are 100 foot tall and they are inhabited by monkeys, coatees and thousands of different species of birds and mammals. If you happen to see some monkeys and coatees, be very careful because they might seem friendly but they're here for your food. If you are lucky enough, you might spot some toucans in the wild as well. Today, we will be visiting the Argentinian side. Good morning everyone, we're finally getting into that bus to go to the waterfalls and, uh, oh jeez, <laughs> I'm getting blind. The ticket in the entrance is $5 for Argentinians and 14 for foreigners. It's only half an hour away from Puerto Iguazú, the closest town. So that's where we are now. We have to walk all the way there and get into the trails. We have the yellow trail, which is the uh, inferior circuit. And then the blue one, which is the superior circuit. And then you have the orange, which is actually a train. It, you get off the train there and we walk to the uh, Devil's Gorge, the largest uh, fall in all the park. You can do them all in one day, but I strongly recommend you take at least two. So we are already on the train off to Garganta del Diablo, the Devil's Gorge, which is the most spectacular waterfall probably in the whole world. And yep, the train's moving. See you in a bit. Of course, everyone wants to start with the Garganta del Diablo, the Devil's Gorge. This place is literally breathtaking, jaw-dropping, awe-inspiring, mind-blowing, Whatever you want to say, there's no words in any language to describe what you're about to feel.
There's no sci-fi or fantasy movie that could ever recreate something so magnificent as The Devil's Court. You just run out of words and you look at the waterfalls for hours. Literally, you stand there and you water them for hours. One of those places where you lose track of time and, you know, space and just lose track of everything around you. Woo! Just left the uh, Devil's Throat, the Devil's Gorge. Jesus. Third time the week I come there. It's just as amazing as breathtaking every time we come. We're going for the last train. We're the lucky ones, you know. If you ever come to the, uh, to the waterfalls to Iguazu, make sure you come to the last minute to the Devil's Throat, which is by far the most amazing place in the world. And not, not, not bragging and being serious about this. Um, you'll get the place for yourself with very little people. Otherwise, it's going to be super crowded. However, I got mesmerized by the waterfalls just by thinking of them. So let's go back. So, between the lower and the upper circuit, my favorite is the lower. You get to stand super close to the waterfalls and you literally get soaked with the splash. I am dripping for the reason is that was through waterfalls. So these waterfalls are called Dos Hermanas, which means two sisters. So that's one of the sisters. The behind me is the other. Saltovo City, my favorite waterfall, is one of the most typical postcards in the National Park. The upper circuit, on the other hand, although it's obviously very beautiful, is not as impressive as the lower. Apart from the circuit, there's one more thing you have to do. The boat. I have never felt so alive, so exultant, and so happy in my entire life. Riding into the waterfalls, feeling its power and roar crushing against all my body has been one of the best experiences I've ever had and which certainly will remember to the day I die. Now here's some tips I would have liked to know before going to Iguazu. First of all, get to the park as early as possible, it gets very crowded. Second, buy your tickets online. Crowds means queues, and your time here is very valuable. Number three, visit the Devil's Gorge on the first train or the last. 5pm and I'm the last person standing in the walkways at the Devil's Throat and this is all for myself so if you want to see this place you have to get stay, to stay for the very end and then there you have it Most people come straight here as soon as they arrive and the amount of people in the morning is insane and it's far crowded later in the afternoon You should visit the Devil's Gorge either before 10 a.m or after 4 p.m. Afternoons are actually my favorite because you get very little people and a lot of rainbows. Number four, lower and upper circuits in the mornings have no big crowds. If you arrive around 10, go straight here and leave the gorge for the afternoon. Number five, all three trails are prepared for wheelchairs and handicapped people. So it's very easy for everyone to move around. Number six, be very careful with the coatees and the monkeys. 
They may seem very friendly, but most of the time, they're trying to steal some food. Last but not least, take the boat. I don't care if you find it a little bit expensive, if you have vertigo, or if you don't like sailing. Jump into that boat, because it will be the best decision you'll ever take. On the next episode, we're crossing the border into Brazil. We'll go explore the waterfalls on the Brazilian side, and we'll go visit the Parque das Aves, a sanctuary for birds and other animals that have been rescued from illegal traffic. Thank you guys for joining me in this amazing adventure, and remember, don't forget to click the subscribe button, leave your like, and if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them on the comment section. If you like content like this, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and at Insider Argentina. <laughs>